Hello, it is the world famous Andrew J. Walker, or I assume to be that way soon. Anyway, um, this is my first ever unboxing video. As you know, I'm doing this on top of my bed because the box is pretty huge. Here's my hand. This is the box. You can tell with your eyes. Now, I've done it upside down so you... So y'all don't know where my exact address is, because the last thing I need to have around my house is stalkers. So, without further ado, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Actually, let me set this down for two seconds. And, hold on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Had to get my pocket knife out. Now to open this package in a controlled explosion. Alright, hold on. I may need to do a jump cut. So, as you can see, I've ordered three particular items off of Amazon because, yes. First item up on the docket is this. Woo! It's a big one. The Red Dragon Gaming Essentials S101 BA Keyboard Mouse Pad Headset 4-in-1 Set. As you can see on the picture, rainbow keyboards, red mouse, red headphones, plus red microphone, probably, and a mouse pad. Alright, I forgot how much it was. Uh, don't mind the dog. She's currently playing behind me. For some reason. Come on, Vibs, you're in the pick. Alright. We'll open that in just a bit. Let's go ahead and get this next one. This one is one of those um, LED light strips things you put behind a TV. That's what I plan on putting behind this little doohickey. So that way I can have a night ambiance feel when I binge watch the Trailer Park Boys for the umpteenth millionth time, or Alarm of Order SVU, whatever suits my fancy for the night. And finally, we have this. It's a hotel style interior shower curtain liner. Because my old one looks like this, and it's absolute shite. Seriously, you have to get this part wet, and then get this wall wet in order to get the damn thing to stick, otherwise, there's gonna be water and stuff all over the freaking floor so that'll be a fantastic improvement so let's get started with this like i said this is the red dragon gaming essentials keyboard headset and mouse mouse pad set all right i'm gonna do one more jump cut and then we're gonna have the entire box opened all right those gubbins aside ignore that here is the contents of the box in all its glory. Let's go ahead and zoom in. We have a gaming keyboard that lights up. Well, it's not lighting up now because I haven't plugged it in yet, but... Actually, oh wow, this is very soft keys. Me likey. I really... Oh yeah, this is definitely going to be way better than the keyboard I have right now, which was the standard HP keyboard. Which is absolutely shy. Let's take a picture of that right now for comparison purposes. And it's this one. Yes, you can see all the keys are completely squashed together. There's no definite feel. That means if I'm trying to play a keyboard, I might accidentally press this, 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 instead of the directional arrows because I keep forgetting where the damn arrows are. Because there's no spacing between the arrows and pretty much everything else. Also, there's no indicators on which keys you press, so if you had it on caps lock and your game ends up um, not doing what you want to do, and it's because you didn't realize you had fucking caps lock on, and the same thing for um, scroll lock, which, where the hell is scroll lock, I don't see scroll lock, or number lock, which I don't see either. This keyboard which is sleek and stylish, is complete shite for gamers like me. And now we return to this key um, mouse. Look at that. It's not too bad. Clicky clicky. Alright, scroll reel is oh very definite. Oh, I think you could do side scrolling right there, yeah. Alright, as you know, it's also wired as well. What's this on the bottom? Hold on. 
I'll get to that in a minute. But uh, yeah, it's got like six programmable buttons and controls, and it does light up red as soon as I plug it in. You got this little doohickey. Oh, good lord, I don't think my head's going to fit on it. Uh, this is, if I can get to it, yeah, it's supposed to be a headset with a, oh, looks like it's reversible. Let me see. No, I was wrong. Okay. But yeah, it's a little microphone dealy, and it's got this um, audio connector cables for the old computers, or for the modern ones, where you just want to do it in one go. Here's an adapter for that. In fact, I'm probably going to give it another jump cut to put this on my head, see how it fits. Actually, it does quite comfortably well. The handles do extend. I had to get it all the way to maximum, and the microphone is actually not in the way, so this is actually a l slightly better upgrade to the one I currently have, where you got these big, ginormous uh, on-ear things and a microphone that goes all the way up to your mouth. So don't be sipping liquids with that on. And then you got this ginormous AF mouse pad. Holy crap, this thing is ginormous. In fact, let me go ahead and put this down on a mouse for comparison. You can literally go all over the map and you can't go wrong with that. And it's a mouse pad, what you expect. And finally, we got this little instruction booklet. Oh look, frequently asked questions, software instructions, yada yada yada. Alright, OS support, yada yada yada. I'll get to that in just a bit. Alright, so that is your Red Dragon keyboard and mouse connecting. So let's go ahead, open up one of the other boxes. To reveal all the contents inside, as you know I shifted over to my desk so I can get a closer, more intimate feel. Throw away. That's one of those uh, silicon packets. Um, what are you doing? Looks like a, it's a connector plug for the TV. Convenience. All right. And here it is, the instruction manual. This looks like the device itself or some of the wiring. Yeah, I think this is the device itself. And the many, many, many connectors. Yep. Yeah, all the many connectors, got a little sticky pads on it, and I think that's the lot, oh, nope, nope, one more. Of course, the color remote, so that way you can set the ambiance and the mood to however you prefer. For example, I seem to be blue all the time, so just press this, but if I want to have a little lively pink color, press that, press that. Unless you're colorblind, you pretty much got the lot. There's a little brightness indicator. Obviously, this is not working because I haven't installed anything yet. Flash, strobe, fade, smooth. Kind of like the jazz I listen to at night. That's not important. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and get to installing both the new keyboard, mouse, and headset connections. And I'm also going to install this behind the TV I showed you earlier, so stay tuned, I'll be right back. Your delectation, the strip lights in all of its magnificent glory. On. Nice. Red? Red, please. Thank you. Now for green? Yes. Blue. Double yas. Alright, this one's orange. Little weak, but okay. This one's a little teal. Purple. Yellow. This one is teal. Uh, yeah, uh, you could tell that there is a ton and ton and ton. Oh, here's, here's a slight green. Forest green. But yeah, this is going to be a barrel of gas. And you can also do... Um, Flash, strobe, there it is, fade, and smooth. And if you think I didn't do one to my computer, think again. 
the ultimate paradise is now in the palm of my hand. Oh, the lighting. Oh, the lighting. We're gonna have ourselves a rave party at this rate. Here is the new gaming keyboard and gaming mouse for all of its glory. You can now game in the dark and not be able to make guesswork on where the damn keys are. Also, you can also change the color by pressing FN and home, I believe. Let's function home, yep. Ooh, purple. Yellow. Hold on, let's toggle the breathing capabilities. Oh, that's not it. Yeah. This one's going to have to take a little bit of getting used to. Oh, there it is. I think we're on static now. There we go. Ooh, this is going to be a barrel of gas, I tell you what. All right. And if you want to go back to rainbow, FN insert, that's not it, FN delete. There we go. That did it. So that's your lot. That's my lighting. So I hope you guys liked my uh, first ever unboxing video. I know it's pretty long, but I wanted to get a little detailish on how it all works out. Um, you can also you can go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to Andrew Walker for more reaction videos and possibly even more unboxing videos. I'm Andrew J. Walker, and I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention to you guys, this is my new shower curtain liner that I've gotten. As you can tell, keeps all the water out, and it's high quality. So yeah, that's pretty much all you want. What, you want me to take a shower in it? Naked? So y'all can see my dingling? If I get enough comments, likes, and subscribes, I might make a Pornhub account of it, but... You're not going to be missing out on too much, so...